You may be aware that Microsoft recently unveiled its own image generator on Bing.com a few weeks ago. But since then, the Bing image creator has made significant progress in its features and functionality. In today's video, I'll be guiding you through all its new features and how to generate high-quality images with simple steps and tricks. So without further ado, let's dive in. In order to access Microsoft's image creator, you need to have a Microsoft account. If you don't have an account yet, you can simply create one at Microsoft.com. I also recommend using Microsoft Edge as your web browser when you are using this AI image generator. Once you've successfully logged into your account, you can access the Bing website creation page by either typing bing.com slash create in the search bar or quickly accessing it through the slide bar. But for now, let's continue with the main interface. One thing you have to know here is that this cutting-edge AI image generator uses the power of the DAL-E AI model on its backend. This means that since Microsoft takes care of everything for you, you don't have to pay a monthly charge for a Dell-E image generator. As you can see here, the Explore section has a number of already generated images. This means that you can get a good idea of the type of image you can expect from this image generator. Before you begin, you should be aware that there are two different ways to generate images with Bing Image Creator. When you get started, you have 25 boosts to use for the quick image generation mode. But if you run out of these points, the image generation quality might be significantly lower, and it may take quite a bit of time to generate an image. But you can redeem more Bing Image Creator boosts by using your Microsoft Rewards points. Microsoft will also restore the boosts on a weekly basis, so you can retain your boost either of the two ways. You can also use the Surprise Me button if you're not sure what you want to generate. The cool thing is that this button only generates a prompt. It doesn't generate the image after the prompt, so you can decide whether or not to use the prompt. Basically, this button serves more as a feature to surprise you and divert your attention from simply being stuck on a single idea. But I will show you later a better trick to personalize your prompt more effectively in a quick and easy step. You may notice that the prompt structure used here is arranged in a certain style of natural language. So basically you start with this noun, which is the main thing you want to generate, and you can add an objective to the left and a verb and style to the right of the noun. For instance, to create a creature that looks like an alien of some kind, add an objective to its left, making it a fuzzy alien. Then add a verb, such as doing something. And lastly, you can add any style you want. Let's use this prompt to get things going. I'm just going to type this prompt right here in the prompt section. Let's see what the result will be without any style. Then I will try it with different variations of art styles. Once the image is generated, the result will show up with four pictures in a grid. But currently, a way to upscale pictures is not supported in this image creator. But you can use other tools to upscale the generated image. And I'll cover those tools in a future video. If you want to add one of the images to your collection, select the picture and click the Save button right over here. You can also access your saved collections in this toolbar. Additionally, you can click the Download button to save the picture to your local drive. Now let me return to the prompt section and explore some art styles. Let's type, a robot holding an umbrella in the rain, ink drawing, and click Create. All of the generated images are pretty good, but this one over here is the most accurate one. Let's try another one, a woman wearing a VR headset with a classical art style, and click Create. The generated photos are typically the best representations of your prompt, but sometimes you may encounter some issues with the quality of the legs, eyes, or hands. In order to solve this issue, you must modify your prompt in such a way that those body parts do not appear. As you can see in here, every boost actually just takes one credit and generates four images at a time. So far, since I'm using boost power-ups, the generations have been fairly fast. It takes around five to 10 seconds for each generation. But without a boost, it will take around five to six minutes. And at the same time, the generated image quality will not be as good as if you were using the power-ups. If you have run out of power-ups, you can click here and you can exchange 500 reward points for five more boosts. You can earn points by searching with Bing on any of your devices. 
A single search always earns you three Microsoft Rewards points. To keep things simple and creative, let me show you how to personalize your Bing Image Creator experience with ChatGPT. First, log in to your GPT account and type the following prompt generation formula in the prompt section. I will put the prompt formula in the description box. If you want to modify this prompt instruction, you can change it according to your preference. So, each time you ask for an image, ChatGPT will come up with a new variation of the prompt for the image you are looking for. So, let's copy this prompt and see what the generated image looks like. All right, folks, that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll be sure to keep you updated on the newest AI tools and advancements in technology. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with the latest breakthroughs.